James Wan, Sist Wine is next from the producer Claude de Brusquia. This is a Chateau Neuf de Pop 2017 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about the stellar wine. Now let me show you the label up close. I think it's nice because I love these old timey labels here and definitely love the approved AOC uh, bottle formats that are required actually. And uh, But definitely if you get one of these bottles, uh, enjoy the wine itself of course. Keep the bottle because I think it's a nice uh, you know bottle to serve water in. So a water bottle and uh, for your dinners. I think it's so superbly nice. And of course I don't keep every single bottle because I wouldn't have room, but for special bottles like this, I think they're outstanding and I can definitely reflect back to what I had. So here's a back label for you to look at here. Now this is a 2017 vintage, 15% ABV, which is not unusual for Chateau Neuf de Pop or other Rhone uh, regions as well. Now what's really cool about this wine is it contains 13 varieties. And the dominant varieties, of course, are gonna be the Grenache at uh, 80%, 10% Movedra, 9% Syrah, and uh, 10 other varieties at a 1% combined level. And so I'd like to know what those, you know, 10 other varieties are, it'd be really cool to know. Uh, they don't list them, but they could be anything from, say, Senso, Cunoise, uh, Picpoul Noir, uh, Terre Noir. And so it'd be great to know that. But in addition to that, it's just a fantastic wine. So all these varieties are really, you know, common in this area in southern France in the Rhone uh, region. And so I think to me, it just really represents beauty, elegance, and grace. And at 15%, it's quite a drinkable, delicious wine. Now, this wine is at 15% ABV. Now, to me, this is, you know, representing a wine that's going to be something to enjoy with food, and it should be enjoyed that way. So to get the snapshot and capture of this wine, taste a little bit before you enjoy this with your dinner. It is a fantastic, beautiful, gorgeous wine. So on this wine, uh, what I love is the freshness of the wine. So red and black bramble notes, cherry notes, dried red rose petal. I like the uh, Tom LaForce characterization, as well as freshly ground spices. And uh, definitely serve this in a uh, Bordeaux glass. I think this is really a fantastic way to smell because it's uh, really illuminated and getting a lot of oxygen in this format. And next, the palate characterization. Very, very definitive core of that, um, you know, Grenache is very evident. And so sometimes there's a playfulness that I get with Grenache, which I think is very nice. And the playfulness is in terms of what the palate is experiencing. That is like almost a crush red candy notation. Not, a, not in terms of sweetness, but that really um, burst of characterization. So red currant, cherry notes, clove notes, pepper, bay leaf, and espresso notes. This wine is 94 points out of 100 points. It really does express the characterization of the Grenache. Grenache is very well expressed in this wine. And I think the complementing partners of Movedra and Syrah and it's, uh, you know, it's definitely, you know, because of the 80% Grenache, it's really, you know, very well founded, a good cornerstone to this wine. But the additional wine varieties, I think, add some additional finesse, characterization, and elegance to this wine. This wine is 94 points out of 100 points. More information on the producer down below. Questions and comments can be listed there. Uh, check out this wine. I think it's fantastic. At a $40.99 suggested retail price point. So let's stay connected. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. And so let's stay connected. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, merci beaucoup to you. I do appreciate that. And uh, give a like to this video. And any questions or comments, listen below. Listen on the social medias that I'm on. And I will see you in the next video. Sante.